off at school and I'm going now straight to Marks and Spencer's to get my turkey for Christmas so it's Friday today I thought I'd vlog a bit for you for Monday do like a mixture you know of talking in the car talking in the house whatever <laughs> um, yes so it's um, quarter no it's ten to nine so I'm hoping to get there just as they open so it's not going to be too busy because believe me this time of year it's absolutely chock-a-block everywhere so um, yeah I have to buy two turkey crowns I never buy whole turkey and like stuff it and everything I buy ready turkey crown that is already stuffed um, and I'm going to buy two because there is there's nine of us I think this year yeah. and what I'm going to have I just found this Linda McCartney um, red onion and is it rosemary I can't remember sausages which are vegetarian obviously and they are gorgeous my friend told me about them and I'm so glad I found them because even when I used to eat meat I never like turkey anyway I think it's really bland and boring um, I like the stuffing the most you know the pork stuffing and those sausages taste just like that so I'm glad I found those so I'll probably have them for dinner with my roast potatoes and I will do loads of different vegetables so so yeah I'm sorted for Christmas with my food because I could have a nap nut roast but I think they are quite dry they are not very um, tasty I don't think so I got up this morning I did my hair because I don't think I've washed my hair since I had a cut um, yeah with this haircut it's really it's quite quick and easy I think it takes me 20 minutes to do my hair um, but the annoying thing is it's very foggy today well very it's quite foggy and damp so that means that my hair is gonna look like feathers and collapse and it's so annoying when you've just done your hair and that happens so well can't do nothing about it also thank you so much you've been so complimentary about my hair and that really made me feel better because as you know I, I didn't really like it I'm, I'm still not sure um, you know I've, I cut it because it was in a bad condition and I might grow it again we will see you know you never know with me and it's funny because you've also been all commenting on my hair color oh you love the color and the funny thing is this is exactly the same color I always have in my hair uh, before I cut it you know every time I have my roots down I have the bleach and the low light but I wonder if it's because my hair is looking healthier now that the color actually shows more because I was like why is everybody saying they love the color and really nice and that's what I've always had for years so but maybe it's because my hair is looking a bit healthier
disaster. Didn't enjoy it at all. At all. Really annoying. So, oh, oh my foot is sliding in the back. Um, so yeah, I've got my turkey and a few like bits of party food. But I was quite disappointed. He, I didn't feel he had choice of they had choice of things like they usually do with everything really. I went and had a quick look at um, Christmas decorations because last year I remember I bought quite a few from there on sale, but they didn't even have much of that. And it got busy so quickly. I just can't be doing with it. I think next year I'm gonna order it all online and look at my hair. Did I tell you it's gonna go all like fluffy and straw because of the foggy weather? I tried some clothes on. I wanted to get like a jumper dress, neat dress, and there was one nice chunky one. Oh, there goes my turkey in a boot. <laughs> um, but I thought it made me look really, really fat, so I didn't get it. Oh my God, I think I will have to stop somewhere and secure that shopping a bit better in my boots. I'm gonna stop here. on my back seat because my boot is so huge and I only have two bags in there so they are just they were just sliding all over the place yes yeah, so it was quite nice for about half an hour and that's when I should have looked at the food not clothes <laughs> um, so it was quite nice and quiet for first half an hour well you saw me um, filming a bit there wasn't many people about but then honestly within the half an hour it got so busy when I got out now the car park is absolutely full got some party food I didn't show you the turkey but we've already put them in a in a freezer oh yeah I forgot to show you my lovely friend Carmen from US sent me a parcel with loads of American sweets. These are so gorgeous. Brownie brittle. This one is the salted caramel. And there is a chocolate chip. She sent me some makeup as well, but I've put that upstairs. Milk dad. And look at these. Toffee crunch brittle. And peppermint pretzel rods and she also sent me bath and body works candles sparkling woods love it also wanted to show you i've added these lights to my tree can you see these are the um what are they called mini fairy what are they called micro lights on like a uh, wire you know the ones that i have around the house but yeah. these ones were with usb connectors with usb connectors so i can plug them in there is two sets on it and each set had 200 lights i bought it on amazon they were only like seven pounds per set and um actually turn the lights off it, it adds that warmth to the tree because you know I've got inside the tree all the cool lights and they're all inside the tree so now it doesn't come out as nice as it is really on this phone but anyway it looks much prettier now and also let me just tell you because it doesn't matter how many times I say it and put it in a description box people are still asking me where I got my lights the ones in the window uh, and the owls, I've said before, everything that I have bought decoration-wise was in my local garden centres 
or on Amazon, you know, or in any department stores that sell Christmas decorations. So that's why I can give you links to it because these shops don't operate online. Okay, I'm out again. So, do you know what I need? I need charger plates. And I thought that I had every color. I know I've got black ones and I have gold ones and I thought I had silver, but I don't. And I've looked like in local shops and I couldn't find any. I actually looked in Max and Spencer's as well. You know, they just like plastic charger plates to put on my Christmas table under the normal plates. And she said, oh no, we don't have them this year. We had them last year. And honestly, the whole shopping was like, has Christmas been canceled or what? So anyway, um, I'm going to a shop, I'm going to HomeSense, but not one that I normally go to in Reading. Paul said that there is one big one in Taplow. So, I don't know exactly where it is, he sort of explained to me, but I'm just going to go and have In my hand And the boys are lining up For my kisses of the one Special guy He's a dream boat Of a man My own sweet buttercup I'm just so wrapped up By his grace One of my subscribers yeah, <laughs> with her husband. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't you come in? Oh my god, did you see that? I just met a subscriber, so lovely. I love when that happens. And it was her husband, he came up to me. He said, Excuse me, my wife watches you. She didn't want him to, <laughs> to come up, but I love that. So if you ever see me anywhere, please come up and say hello. You know, I'm just normal like you. <laughs> um, and I love it. It's nice to see who watches me and, and meet you all. It's just really, really lovely. So I don't know where I'm going now. Where's the way out? Yes, yeah, so anyway, no silver chargers. It seems like it's all about golden red this year. And I had golden red last year. Right, I think I'm going to go now which is very far away from here. Not on the motorway though, it, will, it won't take long. But I think I will go now to Reading to Dunnell, which is another one of those shops with like home stuff and everything. And if I don't find it there, that's it. No charger plays this year. Okay, this is my last port of call. There's Ikea here on the right, but I'm not going there. I'm just going to go to Danel and see if I can get my plates here. Okay, let's go and see. I've got my plates. Oh, as soon as I walked in there, I saw... Let me just show you. 
there they are. They only plastic and really cheap. But um, as soon as I walked in there, I saw it was plastic, but it was okay. So it was better quality plastic, and it was like hammered effect. They were really nice, but they were seven pounds each. But so I don't know. It would cost me something like fifty-six pounds. And I was gonna get them if that's all they had, even though I thought it's a bit expensive just for one day in a year. But then, when I was almost going to pay, I noticed these cheap ones, they were 99 pence a plate, those plastic ones. So, I am pretty happy with that. So, I've got my plate. <coughs> so, I've got the two most important things, my turkey and my charge plate. Oh, I've got a headache, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Okay, I'm going home now. I'm exhausted by all this driving around and hunting for plates. I've been in so many places. Honestly, I've traveled miles today just to get silly plates. Okay, I'm home now, so that's what I was talking about. You know, I've got this one. So, and I bought this one. Hang on, I bought this one in Home Sense, very similar, but I love them, very nice. And here are my uh, plates, and you know what? I've got this, so maybe I bling them out because that runner has that sort of thing here. So maybe I try to stick this like around we will see actually look i've just done this i've got these self-adhesive blings and i might just stick them around obviously this won't be enough so i'll have to buy some more but that will look pretty Okay, one plate done. That was the easiest DIY in the world. I bought these sticky gems that come on a strip. I've cleaned the edge first with some alcohol and it sticks like a dream. So I've got now lovely blingy plate. One done, nine to go. Okay, last plate. So the new ones that I bought, unfortunately, are singles, individual ones. So it's taking me ages, I'm on a mission. I have to pick one by one. So I use these and I just pick each one and place it on the plate. Actually, you've got better control with the single ones because the strip sometimes didn't stick very straight but you see i'm really quick at it now oops let's hope they stay on there that they don't fall off <laughs> yes so i'm very determined this is my last plate you see it's pretty quick my fingers hurt i will have blisters so one sheet of these does um three plates and a bit so and each sheet I bought in the range was one pound and my plates were 99p did I say I think each so the whole project cost me about 12 pounds and I've got lovely blinged out chargers if I had to buy them like this it would cost me much more so there. So I'm on a mission. I'm not feeding my boys today. 
<laughs> I said to them there is no dinner it will have to be takeaway or something I've been out for six hours straight driving around miles and miles this jumper <laughs> This is what I wear around the house. This is one of those. Do you remember I told you I've, ow, I've ordered some jumpers, a couple of jumpers from Australia. A couple of jumpers from Australia and this one was far too big. This is large, you know, but it's so cozy, this one, and soft. I thought it'd be nice for wearing around the house. Look at that funny cat. <laughs> it's a fat cat. That's a bubble. I've been really bad this year. I normally send cards to everyone and I have them all written and ready to go in November. This year I'm on strike. I haven't sent cards to anybody. Do you know, it's so expensive and I have to send a lot abroad as well. Last year, stamps, just to send them abroad, not in this country, cost me £35, just the stamps. And I thought much better idea is to donate this money to a charity or something you know what do people do with those cards yeah they are pretty but after christmas they all go in a bin so and with the social media facebook skype everything we can wish each other merry christmas in so many ways that i think sending cards is waste of money so, yes, I think we're going to donate that money instead to some charity. I'm quite enjoying this. It's sad, but I really like repetitive stuff. I will be sad when I finish that one. I've got no more to do. But I've got lots of bling left over. I might go around the house and bling the house out. <laughs> oh, gosh. So the plates are finished, of course I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have white tablecloth underneath, underneath it all, but yes I'm quite happy with it. Good morning everyone, so this morning we are going to Windsor, I've got Paul here. I'm driving my car because my car is smaller and the car park we always go to is so tiny that Paul's car is a bit too long and the weather is even worse today it's really really foggy I will show you in a minute when I turn the camera around so this is second day hair already much flatter but you watch it later on after I've been in that fog I look like a scarecrow so I'm gonna to go to my PO box and then we are going to do a bit of shopping it's nine o'clock trying to get out early because it's crazy before Christmas everywhere so I see if I can vlog a bit while we're there okay sorry I didn't vlog in Windsor we were far too busy shopping <laughs> We've done quite a bit of shopping, so maybe when I get home I, I show you what I got, but um, yeah, sorry. But I have done like Windsor vlogs before, so you've seen Windsor. And if you haven't, I even done a vlog a um, long time ago, I think last year, of change of guards in Windsor. So if you go to my play playlist and you go to vlogs, there is a Windsor vlog there with the change of guards if you would like to see that. So yeah, I'll show you what we got when we get home, but yeah, it was quite busy, so no time for vlogging. Loads of stuff. I got some really nice stuff in um, Zara, but I don't know if I'm going to like it all because I couldn't be bothered to try it all. I got like a cocoon uh, cardigan 
I love this jacket. It's like a um, military jacket, but like a, this is outerwear. So I, I tried it on like quickly on the top of my jumper. And then, I don't know how I feel about these. I bought these biker um, faux leather um, trousers with zips. It feels really soft and nice. I see how I like it. I probably will take it back. And then I got one of these. It's just like a casual look with the angel sleeves that I love, but it's so, so soft. It's gorgeous. So that was in Zara. Oh, yeah, I got little fragrance. They did them in different flavors. This is Wonder Rose. It's not expensive. It was £10, but it's like a body mist and... Yeah, it's out of toilet. Um, it's very warm and wintry, so hair is. Did I mention that it's foggy outside? Right, and in River Island, I got. I've been. You know, I've been looking for a jumper dress. So I got this one. It is. It's lovely and soft. It, you can wear it off the shoulder, but you, but it's not big enough to have it just sitting on your shoulder, so it looks like a boat neck. I really like it. They did them in black as well, but um, I don't know. If I really, really like that one, I might get the black as well. I've got Max um, sweatshirt from Barba. They are so lovely and soft, but um, I'm not showing it to him. <clears throat> because we're going to put them in this Christmas tree and I got him Calvin Klein socks um, he got his car for Christmas and his birthday anyway because he's going to start driving in January and Paul got himself lovely waxed barber jacket very nice actually what is that? Hmm. All the hardware on it. But I need it here. What else did we get? Oh yes, Paul got another one of these. They're from Super Dry. He really likes these. They like waffle type of thing. And he already has light grey ones, so he wanted different colours. So that's that. Look what my gadget man got. And I'm actually quite happy with this. Defrost frozen foods three times faster. So it is like a board and all the technology is on here. So basically, which I do a lot, I forgot I forget to take something out for my boys to defrost and it's too late so this defrosts it three times faster so that's quite good and where do I put this Paul bought me this this is nothing pretty but I am so happy with these these are for walking low when you sweat this is from Ramika the top dry tech they just like you know waterproof with fairy lining they've got a zip from the front they were on sale as well not much but they were on sale because i had nothing to walk louis in wellies are always really cold you know so yeah i'm happy about these and i think that's it that we bought so yeah it was nice it was very nice i love going to windsor shopping because it's really nice there and i always feel like i'm a tourist there <laughs> Okay, my lovely Sam, um, I don't know if I probably won't vlog anymore. This vlog is probably long enough. So have a nice week. I will see you this week. It's Saturday today, but I'm talking to you as you're going to be watching it on Monday. Um, I will see you on the 24th for something exciting. Um, yeah, I see you later. Bye.